doesn't have like any chairs at all. So that's where my chair is right now. Yay. Anyway, so uh, that, that was that. And um, oh, yes, I just launched my Patreon, which I imagine some people. so people can download them and then you can listen to my videos on the go if you want to do that. I don't imagine you want to go for a walk and then get sleepy listening to one of the videos. Who knows? <laughs> but maybe, I mean, it would help if I guess you're away from the computer for a while and you don't feel like watching the video or anything, so I can understand it. I created it, and I don't, I'm not, like, really that greedy, and I don't expect to make much money from it, um, but one of the reasons I created it is just because I, if I can, I would like to buy some more stuff for ASMR, as well as, unfortunately, like everybody else, <laughs> I do need money, I don't necessarily, I'm not, like, you know, I don't super much care about money, but I do unfortunately need it to live. Um, so, yeah, that's just one of the reasons I created that. And, um, I don't really make, if you're wondering, I don't really make money from YouTube at all. Uh, I got paid once over the entire three-year period that I've had my channel. So, for three years, had the channel, and finally made the 100, I almost dropped myself on, finally made the $100 that you have to make, and then you get paid, and that was it, which is awesome, I'm really happy, and I can't thank you guys enough for that, um, but, uh, somebody pointed out to me, I did kind of take a step back and looked at it, that you could, you know, work two days at minimum wage and earn more than that, um, at least where I live. Okay. Stupid people keep calling. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'll cut that out or leave it in the video. Okay, yeah, anyway, as I was saying, um, yeah, so, uh, YouTube really does unless you get thousands and thousands of views, and I, obviously I don't, um, but, uh, yeah, I, I'm not really caring about the money too much, because I love interacting with you guys, and I love making ASMR videos, it's some of the most fun I get to have, uh, I especially enjoy setting up things like lights, and doing cool lighting setups, and just the other week, I did a tweet where I, uh, 
I asked people with the gosh, there's a stupid plane coming over here. Uh, I asked people, hey, what gel filters would you like to see in a video for like the colors of the lights? So the bagged mics, I think this was called bagged mics uh, video that I did. Um, that actually the colors in that video were chosen by people on Twitter. So that was kind of cool. And it's little things like that that I really love. I like interacting with you guys. That's why I respond to all your comments or almost everyone. Sometimes YouTube doesn't tell me when I've gotten a comment and I don't know why. Um, I usually find out like by answering somebody else's comment, I'll see, oh, hey, there's this other comment here that it didn't tell me about. So I do apologize if I, if you wrote something and I didn't see it. Also, when I first started out, I uh, didn't uh, know that you couldn't, like, that not everybody gets, uh, actually, I don't know that anybody does, uh, get notifications for liking a comment. Because I at first was thinking, oh, I'll just like a comment if it doesn't, you know, warrant a response. And then I realized, oh, if somebody likes one of my comments, I don't receive anything. So, uh, any notifications. So I was like, oh, I should probably respond to people. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, that's the thing. And uh, I think the massage psyche truth, I think Karina from that, uh, she said that said it best, I think, uh, that nobody really does ASMR and expects to make money on YouTube, um, because it, it's, the advertisers don't have any, like, niche market they can sell to through it, unless there's those people who do the, um, was it, uh, make makeup tutorial things and, uh, haul, like, clothing hauls and stuff. So that's why you probably see a lot of those, is because those people want to get ads that pay well on their videos. Um, I'm, I can tell you right now, I'm, I'm sure as heck not going to do one of those. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so I don't, you know, really expect to make anything from YouTube money-wise and stuff, so it is cool that I did make something, but I don't really expect to get paid again, probably for another three years or whatever. Um, and like I was saying, I just <laughs> I really just enjoy the experience. Uh, I enjoy, um, like I said, talking with you guys and interacting and all that stuff, and now I think I'm being redundant, but yeah. <laughs> I'm also trying to stall and remember what I was going to talk about. Uh, yeah, that's going well right now. Oh, also, while I'm still on the subject of Patreon, um, even if you don't want to go ahead and support me, you should go out and find somebody else you really want to support and help them out, because, you know, you know, you should really support the content creators you enjoy and you like a bunch. Um, there's so many awesome artists out there who do great work and it sucks when they you know can't get anything for their work so if you like stuff if you enjoy it go support those people and lastly uh on that note uh ooh, i just got an email i'm I got my phone here um gonna give a quick shout out if i can find the notifications i don't need it stupid notification from Denny's, dang it. <laughs> okay, yeah, so, shout out to, um, Katie Eisenhower. And Katie, that's right, there's, it's just Katie on that one. I also didn't realize that I had two Katies until just now that, uh, have been supporting me and stuff for all this time, so, and, you know, interacting with me a lot. So it's kind of weird. Somehow I just never Honestly. Uh, so yeah, shout out to you. Uh, the Patreon, uh, the Patreons, uh, the patrons I've gotten so far. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. And let me 
just, I'm just shaking as I knock everything beside me over. I was just checking the time limit I have. Um, by the way, if you're wondering why I uh, record videos the length I do, it's because uh, my camera only records for 30 minutes at a time. And so I usually end up cutting out like five minutes from the, every video anyway. Just because I usually have to wait for like planes or trains. say it. Uh, sorry, I don't like that movie. Uh, but anyway, um, I usually have to wait for that type of stuff uh, to go by, and sometimes, especially planes, it can take a while for the plane to stop making noise, and that can be really annoying, so it can be like a whole minute gets cut out at a time from every other video. Anyway, uh, so that's why uh, a, I normally won't film like 30 minutes, but it gets edited down to around 22 minutes or so. And that, to me, seems like a pretty good time for an ASMR video. Um, I like ASMR videos that uh, are around 20 minutes. And statistically, statistics. That's a good word. Statistics. Statistics. Um, based off of my statistics, uh, a lot of people seem to like uh, videos that are around that 15 to 20 minute area, but I like having it be 20 minutes, so you get that extra amount of time to fall asleep or something like that. Unless it's like a really awesome, you know, sound or something like that, or trigger or something that I'm really enjoying. I don't prefer videos to go much longer than that. Um, I mean, for, for me, for my viewing pleasure, um, when, uh, I'm trying to think what I was going to say here. Just, thoughts just escaped me. For, uh, oh yeah, that's one of the reasons why on the Patreon thing I did, you can get extended versions of my videos because I've basically taken the time and restarted recording immediately after a recording. So the thing goes for another 22-ish minutes and stuff, so I just burped really big time in my mouth and I don't like it. I don't know why that happens, but I know it happens to other people who do these type of videos, who do uh, ASMR videos a lot. It's so weird. I don't know what it is. I guess there's something about whispering that makes you want to burp. So, yeah, that's that stuff. Um, oh, something else I know that's a good thing I want to talk about. And I this isn't going to be the official announcement here, but I'm probably going to do another video very soon uh, announcing this. Um, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video, and it's most likely going to be whispered from ear to ear. I like saying that. saying, hey, ask me your questions, and you can just leave a comment on that video with the question, or you can use my email and send me an email, or you can, like, tweet me the question, or send it to me through Facebook, and I can be like, oh, cool here's the question, and I will try and have somebody else uh, get the questions for me, and then I 
can have them like put on cards or something or just emailed to me on my phone and when I go to record the video then I can just see the questions for the first time and have a genuine reaction to them so that would be cool and I will say too that they won't have to be um, ASMR related questions they can be questions literally about anything uh, it can be something I might not even know the answer to like well I guess I do know the answer to this but like why is the sky blue or you know how many wood chuck chucks could have wood chuck could chuck wood okay I don't know what I just said how much wood could a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck could chuck wood buffalo 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 I don't remember how many buffaloes it is I think it's eight that's apparently a grammatically correct sentence don't ask me why uh, also it's kind of a random thing to just say so I think that would be really fun though to do a Q&A video like that at the end of it, I might ask you guys some questions of my own and might want, well, no, I will want your responses to those questions if I ask them, um, which would be kind of cool. So it's kind of a back and forth thing. You get to hear my answers, I get to hear your answers. So I think that could be a lot of fun. And another thing I'm planning on doing here, I'm checking time real quick. few more minutes to record. Um, I really want burp again. Another thing I was thinking about doing is a weekly series. If I can manage it, that I'm thinking of calling essentially you update videos like this sort of but they're whisper update videos every Wednesday so that way you will get nothing but whispers every Wednesday so for those people who really like that and really enjoy that trigger there will be several of those videos I might do a setup that's a lot easier to set up like what I had for the mic test videos because a lot of people don't know but for most of my videos I'll, I'll go all out and try really hard to set up lighting really do stuff good with the camera and I um, will also color grade my footage so it may look one way before I uh, edit it, and after I edit it, it will look a lot different and look cooler or awesomer or something. Awesomer, that's a word, right? Yeah. And so, uh, I do that on most of my footage. In fact, I'm probably going to be doing that to this video. Almost certainly guarantee it. Um, but, I'm th uh, but with the mic test videos, though, I, uh, I actually didn't do all that stuff. I really just set up a couple of lights and hit record. And that was, well, I mean, I didn't just hit record, but I got whatever mic I was using. And then, you know, got everything set up with that and then hit record. But it was a lot easier to film. And I didn't do the color grading in post or anything. So it also helped as far as rendering. which I'm really loving the new version of um, Adobe Premiere, uh, the CC version, or Creative Cloud version of Premiere Pro. I've uh, been using Premiere Pro CS6 for the longest time, and I love it to death, but I finally decided, okay, I need to make the jump and try the new version. 
so I tried it, and, which by the way, you can get free 10 day trial, I believe, and it's full access, so, um, I tried it out, and, uh, it was awesome, I rendered a 4K video that was like 30 minutes long, with color grading effects, and I did it in maybe, um, an hour, uh, no, yeah, it might have been like an hour or two hours at most, um, and it used to take me 8 to 13 hours to render a video, uh, with the other version of Premiere, so I'm really loving this new version, I think my recording's about to run out now, uh, so that is freaking awesome, and I love it to death, so, um, it's definitely going to increase my workflow, especially producing these videos, because usually when I render, it's, well, I mean, when I used to render, um, it would be like, okay, I hit render, now it's time to not use my computer for anything while it renders, so, um, I think Let's see, I talk about what I've been doing, Patreon, uh, Q&A, and the Whisper Wednesday thing, okay, yeah, I think I covered everything, so again, um, thank you guys all for joining me so much, my time is running out, so.